Are you serious? Are you serious? Guys, they have moved the doomsday clock closer to midnight than it's ever been moved before in the history of the doomsday clock. 13 elders. All right. Well, you know, all the way back from the days of Albert Einstein till now, we've never been closer to the doomsday than we are now, according to the 13 elders and the world scientist community. But why? Well, we're going to talk about that in just a moment. First of all, let me put a shout out right now to healthwithpaul.com. That's www.healthwithpaul.com. Collagen. Maybe the closest thing we will ever get to the real fountain of youth. The older you are, in fact, the more likely it's caught your attention. After all, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body and is essentially the glue that holds you together. In fact, after age 20, people produce about 12% less collagen in their skin each decade. What? So, for some, it's even greater decline. This means by the time you're middle-aged like me, you could be producing less than half of the collagen you did in your youth. Even worse, various lifestyle factors you may have been exposed to like poor diet or smoking or pollution or stress or even sun exposure could help enhance this collagen depletion. So, uh, in short, this year by year, escalating loss of collagen is a key reason people look old as they get older. And that's why that would explain skin sags and wrinkles, hair gets thinner, don't. Um, nails lose their strength, joints become stiff like when you're trying to play golf. Uh, recovery from activity and exercise slows. Digestion related complaints seem to come out of nowhere. And in general, our bodies just seem to turn on us. Well, here's some good news. If you go to www.healthwithpaul.com, that's www.healthwithpaul.com, you can find out about a brand new product that replaces the collagen in your body from four very important areas. It makes your skin healthy and supple, and it gives that youthful look. It, it makes your hair healthy and young looking and supports joint flexibility, strengthens your nails, your teeth, your gums, promotes strong, healthy muscles and tendons and ligaments, uh, promotes stronger bones, supports digestive health and promotes healthy appetite management. Matter of fact, you can even knock the golf ball farther than you were when you were younger. What? If you believe and if you can get on this program. Folks, just simply do this. Go to www.healthwithpaul.com. That's www.healthwithpaul.com. Well, doomsday clock has now been moved closer to midnight than it ever has in the history of the 13 elders of scientists that get together to talk about doomsday. Planet X, Nibiru, planet number nine, the dwarf star, Mike from around the world, five waves of energy, Blood moons, blood water, blood moons, typhoons, monsoons, pontoons, I don't know. But uh, here's what's happened. The doomsday clock is now only 100 seconds to midnight, according to the 13 elders over at the doomsday clock dot org. Matter of fact, humanity is now 100 seconds away from the apocalypse. According to the Doomsday Clock, which was updated today, that's 20 metaphoric seconds closer to the moment humans will destroy the planet, at least according to a group of scientists who keep track of the many ways humans might bring upon their own demise. Matter of fact, this is the closest humans have ever been to the end of days, uh, a.k.a. the midnight hour in the Bible. And according to the nonprofit bulletin of the Atomic Scientist, uh, who convene in November to decide what time to set the clock. This time was set long before heightened military actions between the United States and Iran and before North Korea's decision to end its freeze on nuclear testing. Those events only would confirm the bulletin's consensus that humanity is in grave danger Graver than ever before, according to board member Sharon Squasasani, 
but they also seem to suggest that the clock's meager move might have lowballed the risk at hand. The organization started the clock in 1947 as the nuclear arms race began, and it was, has since then focused on the risk from nuclear technology and climate change. Al Gore! And this year, concerns over Iran and North Korea's nuclear programs and the dis disintegrating cooperation between the United States and Russia on disarmament prompted the bulletin board of scientists and experts to move the clock forward. So, too, did the inadequate action on climate change. So, I must say, I've listened to the excellence, both devastating presentation of scientists, I felt more and more a strong personal reaction. This is according a reaction to a very angry granny, former president of Ireland and climate action advocate Mary Robinson said at the announcement, this is not acceptable. Former UN Secretary General Ben Kai Moon and former California Governor Jerry Brown also spoke at the event. And information warfare is also continuing to spread some disinformation and crippling humanity's ability to respond to the dangers we face. And according to the bulletin, it called out the Trump administration. I, I knew it was going to be Trump's fault. It is Trump's fault that the doomsday clock is getting closer to, to midnight. Matter of fact, Trump's administration for disbanding science committees and, di and sowing distrust on the media by labeling fake news. Okay. So deep fake news could make it harder for people and policymakers to discern the truth and lies, according to the bulletin warned. Facebook is already grappling with how to limit misinformation from the deep fakes and the deep stakes uh, on its platform, and it has moved to ban them ahead of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. So, you know, I mean, what do you mean by fake news? And that's always the question. Who determines what is fake news? And that's something we're just going to have to wait and see. But right now, here's something that we can all agree on. The doomsday clock has moved closer to midnight. Only 100 seconds away from the coming apocalypse. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time. Literally.